Hey ladies and gentlemen, the internet, Adrian here for Digital Dojos. Today we're going to be taking a look at my iOS 13.5 jailbreak setup. Some of you who follow the jailbreak community will know there was a zero-day exploit that allowed the Uncover team to jailbreak iOS 13.5. While jailbreaking has been around for years, it's also been a big part and responsible for the features that we have in iOS today. That said, I haven't jailbroken in recent years just due to the lack of support and the fact that iOS and the App Store has just really evolved over the years. However, with the 13.5 jailbreak, it was pretty painless. I'll save you the full-length tutorial and link it down below, but in short, you install the Alt Store app on your Mac or PC, sign and trust your device, install Uncover, install the jailbreak, or run the jailbreak, I should say, and then in this case, so 13.5, you do have to continuously sign the Alt Store, which allows you to jailbreak in the first place, unless you're using an Apple developer account to do all of this. So for first time jailbreakers, quick tips, like I mentioned with 13.5, you need to constantly resign via the Alt Store. All the information on that is down below. You have to run the Alt Server app on your Mac or PC. However, I highly recommend you look into what's called the revision or reprovision tweak, which will eliminate that need and automatically resign uh, re your certificate on your iOS device for you in the background. Be sure to check that out. All right, with that, let's jump right into my setup. My iPhone Pro Max is my daily driver, and this is the latest and greatest in terms of the iPhone or the most current gen, I guess. And while the iPhone 11 Pro is a great device, the bigger screen, I think, is just not taken full advantage of within iOS. So the main reason I jailbroke on my daily driver is to really kind of customize and fix certain annoyances I have within iOS. Starting out with that very idea, customization. Snowboard Tweak is a free tweak that will allow you to apply skins and icons to your iOS device. In my case, I am using Snowboard alongside a paid theme in this case called Viola Glyphs by Boss Graphics on Twitter. He does a real great set of themes for the jailbreak community, um, all which are mostly paid, but just really, really great themes, highly worth, you know, the one or two dollars that they cost to completely reskin and add a new feel and look to your iDevice, or your iOS device, I should say. Uh, next up is Digital Battery 13. This allows you to get a quick percentage look at your battery, making it much more useful and efficient rather than having to swipe down to see what your percentage is at. Calm with a K is a pay tweak to replace your lock screen with a much more simpler and cleaner looking lock screen while adding convenient features like quick glance at weather, quick glance at your calendar if you have that synced in your upcoming events. Prism is a pay tweak for your control center that completely revamps how the control center looks and feels. You can customize it, but furthermore and most importantly, you can take it away from that inefficient spot in the top right of iOS device and make it triggered by the bottom left or bottom right. This works well even on the uh, iPhone 11 Pro and not having that home button. I don't you know, have any issues swiping in from the bottom left or right corner to activate my control center with Prism. Saw works hand in hand with the tweak that I use to remove my home bar. The no home bar tweak essentially just, well, does what it says. It removes the home bar from your iOS devices that don't have Touch ID. You typically have this tiny bar at the bottom that allows you to swipe back to home or exit an app. This hides that and then Saw takes that extra padding or extra space you have at the bottom and it extends your app. So it kind of makes it more full screen. This gives you that visual effect of the full edge to edge screen. And even though it's a tiny space, Base that gets added, it makes apps like Instagram and Twitter feel that much more bigger. Shuffle is a tweak that you have to install third party repo to get, however, it's highly worth it. That's free, and what it does is it congregates all your tweaks and settings into one pane within your settings on iOS, making it much more easier to manage multiple tweaks at once, and even your general app store app settings, all in one convenient, organized place within your system preferences. Last but not least is Spring to My 5. This is a tweak I've been using for years since jailbroken really just kind of got started back in its day. Spring to My is a jack of all trades when it comes to customization. I use it to speed up iOS animation speeds, making my phone feel that much more snappier by reducing animation times, for example, switching between apps or exiting apps. However, you can get real crazy and customized effects like your lock screen effect, um, swiping between pages and your apps, making that a little bit more fun and customizable and something completely unique. And definitely people will be asking, how'd you get that set up? Spring to my five, uh, price your tweak, I think at like two or three or $3 plus, but even then highly, highly worth it. Moving on, uh, Spring Tomize 5 also does a couple of these things. However, I wanna mention some free ones. 5 Doc will allow you to add five icons to your dock. Um, again, if you have Spring Tomize 5, you can already do this. Um, additionally, there's other ones like um, Home 
plus i believe which is in beta uh, these allow you to customize your home screen to add extra columns or again really pack more icons and, and adjust icon sizes spring Tomize does all of this but i just want to note there are a lot of free tweaks that will do aspects of it out there now moving on to my ipad my ipad pro is more work focused so i don't have as many tweaks on it just in general but also due to the fact that the ipad community when it comes to jailbreaking isn't as up to date and the tweaks out there aren't fully supported yet for 13.5 However, I did install Snowboard, and I have a different theme called Viola Dark, made by the same person who makes Viola Glyph, um, applied to my iPad Pro to give it a new look and feel. Uh, alongside that, I use a tweak called Apple Pencil Pro. If you use Apple Pencil on your iPad Pro, I highly recommend getting this tweak. What this does, it allows the Control Center and Notification Center to be accessed by using the Apple Pencil. I have an Apple Pencil and I use it to navigate throughout iOS when I'm using my iPad Pro and it's annoying to me that you can't swipe down in the top right or top left to trigger a control or notification center. You, you have to use your finger for some reason. Uh, in this case, Apple Pencil Pro fixes that with a free tweak. Auto Unlock X is another free tweak that's available for iPhone and iPad that allows you to automatically unlock your iOS device by simply just looking at Face ID. You don't have to do an extra step and then swipe up. It's smart in that you can add specific variables. So if you have a notification on your screen, like a text message, it won't automatically unlock unless, again, that notification goes away. Last but not least is Dotto Plus. This adds customized dots to your notifications on each app. So it looks at the icon on the app and it gives you a specific dot related to that color so that you know when you have notifications within each specific app. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up my tweaks for both my iPhone and iPad. Nothing too crazy. I didn't go over the top in terms of customization. I kind of kept it plain. I mainly use the jailbreak to, again, fix a lot of just kind of annoyances and nuances within iOS that I want to see change. And Apple just really hasn't, you know, fixed with newer devices as screens have gotten bigger, as hardware has gotten better. Um, features that I think should exist within iOS and allow you to take more advantage of the device and its hardware power. These jailbreaking tweaks uh, achieve it for me. That said, I would love to hear your tweaks, your favorite setups, or your themes, what have you, whatever you may have, down in the comments below. Uh, and as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and as always, thanks for watching.